I love hearing stories about my family. They are early stories of resilience, racism, and building a community. My nana always recounts stories of his grandfather's arrival. This is my grandfather here. My grandfather, Smal Bhikkhu, was only 27 years old when he left Gujarat, India in 1908. It was a long and anxious journey that took him months. Their last stop was Auckland. He was tired of being on the boat, so he went to the immigration officer and asked if he could stay in New Zealand. As long as you can read and write in English, you can stay. My grandfather signed his name, and that's how he came to stay. But living here wasn't that easy. There were signs outside the barbershop and lease agreement, no Indian or Chinese allowed. A handful of Muslim families lived in Auckland and were committed to keeping their culture alive. We had our first Eid prayers in 1950 and built the first mosque in Ponsonby in 1970. Barbershops in Aotearoa may not deny service to Indians anymore, but in the post-9-11 landscape, we have seen those signs again. Hello. People are shocked when I tell them how long we've been here. Sometimes I struggle with saying that. It shouldn't matter how long we've been here. But when people tell you to go home, it makes no sense to me. How many times can I tell them, I am home. This is my home, and this is my grandfather's home, and his grandfather's too. I'm making a book about my family. I want it to encourage the next generations of Muslims to remain strong in the face of Islamophobia. I want to show how far we have come as a community and that we are all part of the wider New Zealand community. This is us.